Hi Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be channeling messages focusing on a no contact person and what are their thoughts and feelings. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Taro and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike. I want to thank all of you for your love, your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channel messages. All right, Capricorn. By the way, Capricorn, I haven't used this uh, deck for this series, but my guides were telling me to use those <laughs> that deck for you guys uh so not for you but for your no contact person so let's see what is that all about all right so um let's take a look here about your no contact person this could be an ex um an ex-partner an ex-spouse an ex-connection but you there is no contact between you and this person right now at this moment in time so let's figure out here what's going on with this person what is this no contact person's uh thoughts and feelings here in regards to capricorn all right they have the high lady of love and compassion there is this sense of um thinking about the actions either you were very compassionate towards them Capricorn or they're thinking about the love and the compassion that they had for you but there is this sense here of uh of that energy here uh with this no contact person they do uh, they are you know in the self sabotage self sabotaging thoughts or fears they are being um in a way confined or bounded with their own mental memories okay so there may be uh just beautiful memories of love and compassion that you may have shared here with uh with them capricorn and there is this sense of feeling bad okay there's a sense of understanding that there may have been some self limiting behaviors some old habits here that may have contributed to this separation to this breakup or to this divorce okay let's take a look here at what other information is coming in about this person's thoughts and feelings in regards to this no contact connection they have here the four swords they're trying to really uh quiet their mind okay um because there is some sense of stagnation here especially here with the eight of cups in reverse okay they're trying to uh move past they're trying to move on okay but there is this fear inside of them that they have okay because when the eight of cups is in reverse uh, i'm sorry in the upright that means that this person is disconnecting or disengaging from their emotions when it's in the reverse they're having difficulty in doing that okay that's how this is coming across this person is having a, a hard time quieting their mind they're really trying to take a break about all the all this uh, memories and nostalgia about the love and the compassion the time that they shared with you okay now regardless of how this connect connection may have ended here there is this feeling of you know sometimes connecting the thoughts and their emotions to the times that were the good times okay let's see what else is going on in this person's thoughts and emotions here all right they have here a cup of coughing meeting conversing savoring the moment uh feeling uplifted friendship um i feel here that this person there is some type of friendship or connection that they still feel towards you even though they may not uh fully uh acknowledge it as far as them saying something to you right now at this moment in time but there was some sense here of a friendship that they had with you for some of them here they are relying on their own friends and their own social so, social network in order to kind of in a way get out of this um mentor mental overload that they've had okay or, or they are currently having and that's how it's coming across here i feel here that for some of them they wish that they can uh say something to you they wish that you know they could have that last cup of coffee and clear the air um i feel here this person may may feel or may think that there were things left unsaid okay there may have been things here left unsaid and um you know the thought crosses their mind in regards to contacting you or texting you um but there's again there's this hesitation here that i'm feeling also in regards of that 
in regards to that, I should say. All right, let's see what else is going on here with this person. Mending, what did I say? This person is trying to mend, fix, okay, themselves. They're trying to figure things out. They're trying to let go of all this stagnation. Remember the self-sabotaging thoughts or fear? That's where this mending is coming from, this old patterns of behavior. They want to let that go, okay, because they really want a new beginning, okay? They really want to do things right this time around. Now, whether that is with themselves or whether it is that they wish they can talk to you about what they have learned or they have grown from uh, since the last time you guys uh, spoke. All right, let's see this last deck here. What else is going on with this person? Their thoughts or feelings here in regards to this no contact situation with Capricorn. No contact uh, situation. I was going to say separation. Some of you, this is only a separation. For others of you, this is a complete breakup and a divorce. Like you've gone your way. The other person has gone in their way. Um, and that's how it's coming across. So they have here the creative. The active yang principle. There's this sense of being proactive now, okay? Being proactive about trying to change or realizing, what did I say this? I said this before, about, it says opposition, okay? About the bumping of the heads, the disagreement, the things that you guys didn't see eye to eye in. This person didn't see eye to eye on some things uh, with you. They're realizing that now. They're more in this energy of inspiration, of trying to really uh, hang on to their spiritual strength, their inner strength, okay? They are uncertain. Remember that I was telling you about that? I feel that there's a sense here of hesitation. They would like to speak to you, but there's a sense of uncertainty. There's a sense of uh, not knowing how that move of a text, an email, or just a suggestion of, hey, listen, let's just... Uh, talk this for old time's sake to bring closure. They don't know how that may be uh, received by you, Capricorn, uh, because this card says before completion, uncertainty, doubt, hesitation, loss of faith, unstable conditions. Okay, they're being very cautious here. So you know they're kind of like mm, I don't know how Capricorn is going to take this because we had so many moments where we didn't see eye to eye right? That they don't know how you're going to welcome this uh, newfound approach or this sense of amending, healing, and fixing that they've had within themselves. Some of them would like to fix, mend, and heal with you, Capricorn. But again, they don't know how this is going to be taken by you, okay? There is here that I'm still picking up here, there's a sense of love and compassion towards you, uh, Capricorn. So this person isn't all about like, you know, negative vibrations. They realize that they, you know, may have created a misstep here, but you know, there's still a lot of love and compassion in regards to thinking about you and feeling about you. Okay. That's why, uh, they need a break here. They're trying to get that mental break because they are kind of in a way stuck in their emotions, the eight of cups in reverse, all right? And that's the reason why they also have a cup of coffee. There's a sense here that they want to talk to you. They don't know how that's going to be uh, received though, okay? There were a lot of personal differences here, and there was, this person is realizing that, and they're aware of that, but they're also aware here that there is this sense of inspiration of wanting to fix something, talk about something, reconcile, okay, for some, for some of them, but there is a sense of uh, hesitation here. They're, they're not sure if this the way that this was left before, the disharmony or maybe anger or sadness, you know, the, 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 the emotions that were there before, they're not sure, you know, if that is a good uh, decision or they're uncertain about heading in that direction of talking again or opening up the lines of communication. Capricorn, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here for more messages. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon.